So, you have your 3D photos can import it into your software and it looks awesome and you're pretty happy, but your computer is not thinking that way. It's just so dense and has so much polygons that your PC is just struggling. So let's fix that. First, let's export your model into an OBG file. Then import the file you've just created into Instant Meshes. You can download this program for free. Here, with just a few clicks, we can optimize our mesh. 66,000 quads will be fine for now because it's already way less than the 2 million polygons I had previously. So when you're happy with the number, just hit solve. When your orientation is set up, then solve the quads. Then solve the mesh's position. And if you're satisfied, import it back into Cinema 4D. Right now our mesh is pretty much optimized and it's as fine as it gets when it comes to automated optimizing, but we don't have any textures yet, so let's start the process. By selecting the material tag on our object, hit tags and generate UV coordinates. If you want to manually UV unwrap your model, then go to edge mode and hit U and N on the keyboard. In this mode you can specify on which edges should the model be cut in our UV map. Right now I'm only making some small changes on the edges. Then change the layout to body paint UV edit. Here with the UV tool and by hitting Ctrl A you can select all polygons. You can try experimenting under the projection window, but right now we have to relax our UV map. For this you have two algorithms. Try both and see which one works better. If you already made edge selections, then check cut selected edges. And just see what happens, experiment with that. By running the algorithm more times, you can also get different results. Then comes the fun part. It's actually a technique I stole from the Rocket Lasso tutorial. I'll drop a link in the description for that video. First, create a new material. Disable the color and delete the default specular. We want this material to be a GGX material. Create a light. We want it to be ambient, so it lights up everything evenly. Then enable our raw photo scan. By pressing the right click and choosing polygon move, Scale up our mesh until it doesn't intersect with our original model. Then hit U and R to reverse our normals. Right click and under Cinema 4D tags, create a big texture tag. Set up the resolution. Right now I'm setting it to 16K because my UV unwrap is not 100% correct, so I should keep it at highest quality. I'm going to keep it at 8 bits per channel because that's the color depth I shot it with. Under the options tag, only check reflection. You can hit preview to make sure that there is information being captured. Specify the folder in which you want to save your texture and when you're ready, hit bake. Wait for it to finish and scale and rotate our normals back to the original state. Create a new material and load texture you just created into its color channel. Apply it on your model and you're ready to go. I don't know why it doesn't show up in the viewport correctly, maybe because of the resolution, but I actually don't really care because the render looks fine. Obviously it, it is not going to be 100% perfect and you will lose some details, but considering how much RAM and uh, video memory you save with this process, I think it's worth it. Just for comparison, I took my original model next to my adjusted, modified and retouched model and I think if you're not in a close-up view, then you just cannot tell the difference. And we have freed up uh, around 1GB of free video RAM, so it was worth it.